Welcome to yet another one of the Shrine Guide videos here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Kam Rock Shrine, also known as Trial of Passage. This shrine is located in the Nekluda area in the Hatena region. To be precise, southeast of Kekariko village and northwest of the Hateno tower. The easiest way to get to this shrine is to start at Hateno tower. Open your map and go to this area northwest of the Hateno tower. Zoom in. Here you can see on the map all sorts of dots. Place a pin there. Now go back to the game and go towards the pin. Jump over the tower. Since we're here gliding down right now, you might give this video a like. That will help with the discoverability of this video a lot and it helps the channel grow. What also helps the channel grow is if you subscribe to the channel, of course if you haven't done that already. In that case, you won't miss my future content and other upcoming guides of The Legend of Zelda and all the other videos. When you land, your stamina bar should be almost empty. Just make sure you walk straight on, make sure your stamina wheel gets full again and then just jump off again and glide further down towards the pin. When you reach the pin, make sure you make a safe landing. Here you can see all types of statues, small ones and bigger ones. There's a man there and also some choo-choo enemies. First, kill the choo-choo enemies. Alright. And now go to the man and talk with him. Help me! Help me! Oh! You're not a monster, you're just you! I thought you were one of those independent monsters for a moment. Ha! Let me guess! You got wind of the great Dr. Kalib's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself, eh? No? Don't tell me you've never heard of me! After I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines! Well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Kalib, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Kalib. Everyone forgot I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for idle chit chat. Ancient text? Soon, my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hell it to the discovery of the century. To prevent my undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand? I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Kalib. Doctor? Did I? Did you just call me doctor? As in, not merely Kalib, but Dr. Kalib? It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was downright salivary. Hmm. Just changes things. Very well then. I'm feeling charitable. So, I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so farewell. The cursed statue, you got your shrine quest. 
Now, there are two things you can do. Or, first, wait until it's night. Or second, get yourself a flint and some wood. Put it down there, hit it with a sword or anything other metal, and sit by the fire until it's night. When it's night, you see one of the statues with glowing eyes. Get your bow and arrow and shoot the statue. When it's broken, the shrine arrives up from the ground itself. It arises all the way up, up, up into the world of Hyrule. Anyway, we find ourselves a shrine. The cursed statue complete. Let's walk onto the shrine, the Kam Arak Shrine. And we made it. Let's jump into it. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Kamarak. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Trial of Passage. Come a rook shrine. Just walk straight on. And you can see some balls slowly rolling already, and a small one rolling quite fast. This kind of looks like a washing machine since it's spinning in circles. Well, first off, go stand on this big block. And this, in my opinion, is the easiest way to fulfill this shrine. Even with getting all the chests. Make sure you're all the way up and just glide down onto this platform. Now turn around. And down there you can see the very first chest. Glide down here. There's an opal in it. So, turn around. And for your second chest, well, it's already on its way, as you can see. Just wait some time until it is in the right position for you to reach it. When it's the right moment, just take a leap. Get your paraglider out, glide towards it, and open it. Now what's inside? A soldier's spear with a strength of 7. Take it or leave it, it's all up to you. Now it's key to stay on this platform. On this tiny little platform. Try to keep standing on it, even if it's moving. Do it slowly and make sure you don't fall off. Because, as you can see, there's the stairs that we need to fulfill this shrine. Now, just walk up here. And there we found the monk. Go stand before him and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the Goddess smile upon you. Very nicely done. Your next shrine completed. Next week, 
another shrine here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. Guys, see you in my next video. See ya.